So we're wrapping up the main slate of official visits for a lot of the top players in the country. And one thing I've always stated that I've learned from some great broadcasters in the world is there's really three things you need to be successful at football in general, college or even at the pro level. You got to have a good quarterback that can sling that thing. You got to have an offensive line to protect them. And you got to have a defensive line to get the other team's quarterback. And so if you've noticed in recruiting lately, that defensive line has become the premium position in college football. Offensive line as well. Quarterback has been a little bit, but really the emphasis has been on defensive line. Because a lot of programs have shown us if you've got the right defensive line pieces and the right defensive players, you can go out there and terrorize other teams and lead to deep playoff runs in championships. That's in the NFL and in college football. So today we want to talk about one of the top defensive players in the country in Williams Winery out of Lee Summit High School in Kansas City, Missouri. Now, the big thing with Winery is that he's wrapping up his official visits. And so hopefully a decision may be coming down the line before his senior year or we'll have to wait until in October after his September visit in Oregon. Well, Maneri just finished up a visit at Tennessee as well as Oklahoma and has had high praise of both programs. So I want to talk about that. We're going to dig into why Maneri is so sought after and, you know, his chances of either school picking him up. But before we do that, I want to welcome you all to Unfair Sports. I am your host, Jay. Thank you all for pulling up here on the YouTube channel. If you've been here a few times, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like the content that we're putting together, it really helps with the algorithm with YouTube so that we can grow this channel. If you are new to the channel, hit the like subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you don't miss any of this content. We're going to turn out a lot more college football content now that official visits are slowly winding down into July. And I definitely want you all along for the ride. So let's take a look at Williams Ranieri and talk about why he's so sought after. And so when you watch the film, and we've played his film before here, we're going to do it again for all the new people. He has the capabilities of playing not only on the inside, but also at the outside. He has the size and stature for it. So first and foremost, Williams is a consensus five-star player across all recruiting boards. And as you can see, he's considered a five-star plus listed here by on three. He is either the number one or number two defensive lineman in the country based upon all four of the recruiting boards. And so that tells you everyone sees something special in him. And that specialness is the capabilities of having the size and stature to play on the inside at 6'5", 260, at 6'6", 260, as well as the capabilities of possibly playing at the end because he's so fast. And so as the film is running, you can see he's got a quick first step. He's got some strength and man, he can do it. And so he did his visit this weekend at Tennessee and the volunteers have a really good chance of luring him to the Tennessee area from Kansas city and out of the jaws of not only sec rival Missouri, but also pseudo rival based upon Oklahoma coaching staffs at Oklahoma. And he stated in a recent interview that he enjoyed his visit there. They're definitely at the top and it was fun hanging out with some of the players. He can see where he can be used by Tennessee. And that's a really big deal for a lot of these players in this class. We have a lot of big time named defensive linemen this year, which is probably one of the more robust classes of defensive linemen I've seen in a few years. Tennessee looks at him as a potential linebacker and defensive lineman in multiple techniques. And so because of that, he loves the idea of the versatility that comes with not only his size and ability, but teams wanting to leverage him in that capacity. So let's stop here. Vols fans, how do you feel? I know some of you have started starting to tune into the channel recently, and I told you some content was going to come down. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know. What's your thoughts on Landon Winery? Do you think you got a chance? We would love to hear what your thoughts are here in this community. Now, so as we move on from that, the Oklahoma Sooners are also putting a heavy push and emphasis on Winery. Also, when he came the weekend before, the Oklahoma Sooners had major focus on him with a couple of other players, just talking to him and Nigel Smith about how he can be leveraged. And the good thing is Oklahoma's always emphasized to him that he can play multiple positions here too. At 6'6", 260, there's absolutely no reason why he couldn't go in there play defensive line and edge, and then maybe even move back into a cheetah 
linebacker role. Now, granted, he's not really built to be a cheetah, but if he continues to show this athleticism and his 40 time continues to be as fast as it is, he's going to wreak havoc regardless of what side or what location on the field he's going to be. And so Oklahoma students are doing their due diligence and getting the push in. And so far on all of the recruiting sites, all the insiders have Oklahoma pegged as the team to beat to win his services, especially after landing Caden Green out of, you know, the summit in Kansas City, as well as PJ Adebaware, who is also at Oklahoma right now. There's a lot of connections with KC and Oklahoma right now. So the Sooners do have a really good chance of landing, but we've got to wait and see if Winery's going to go ahead and wrap up after this visit this coming weekend in Missouri and end it here in June, or if he's going to let this continue to go until October when he finishes his September visit with the Oregon Ducks. And the Oregon Ducks have been coming around really heavy on recruiting defensive linemen because they understand the need to have that in order to compete and go to the college football playoffs. So Sooner fans, as we wrap this bad boy up, I want to hear from you all as well as we've talked about the volunteers opportunity. Let's talk about the Sooners opportunity. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know. Think the Sooners can land Maneri? I'm kind of confident in leaning more Oklahoma than Tennessee, but I think Tennessee is making a really big push because they understand. Got to have a good defensive line if you want to be successful in college football. If you are new to the channel, you made it this far. Hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification. We'd love to have you join this community. We're growing, focusing on college football. We'll have some podcasts specifically for specific teams coming down the line. So keep your eyes open. And lastly, YouTube says to watch one of these videos. And I highly recommend you guys keep, the, you know, checking us out what we're doing. We'll talk soon. Peace. Peace.